Get excited, my charmed ones, because today I'm going to be giving you that long-awaited tour of my home office. If you're interested in seeing my home office, how I have it decorated, and my favorite styling tips for styling your office space, stay tuned, because this video is gonna be for you. Hello my charmed ones and welcome back to my channel for another video. And if this is your first time with me, I would like to say welcome. My name is Alexis, but I'm also known as Miss Trenchcoat all across the internet. I'm an online entrepreneur who designs and sells digital productivity tools to help you work smarter, not harder. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'll leave some links below in the description box where you can check out more of my work online. And feel free to download some of my latest free productivity tools over at thecharmshop.com. Okay, so like I said, today is that long-awaited office tour, that home office tour that I know I've been promising you guys for a long time. I am sorry that it took me so long to film this, but to be honest, I am kind of that person, like that sort of type A personality where I feel like things are never done, like things are never exactly where I want them to be, and I never have the exact furniture I want, and so I was giving myself every excuse in the book not to film this video until I felt like everything was perfect, and then I realized ultimately that perfect does not exist, okay? There is no such thing as perfect, and as they say in the walls of Facebook, done is better than perfect. So. I'm going to go with the spirit of done is better than perfect and show you guys inside of my home office today as it is. And as I show you around, I am going to give you guys some of my best styling tips for styling your home office because I realize that it's all well and good to see how I have everything decorated and I'm certainly going to leave you guys links in the description box and you know pop up some annotations for you to show you guys where things are from as we go along and you know I show you this office but the truth of the matter is is that not every one of you are going to have the same sort of space as I have and I feel like I'm very lucky my home office is very large um, but there are going to be those of you who are going to have smaller um, office spaces and maybe it's not like a home office, maybe you're a student and you want to put like an inspirational office area in your bedroom. So there's many different options and I want to give you guys tips because I feel like the tips are the most important part. So let's go ahead and jump right in and I'm going to let you guys take a look around my room as I talk um, so that we can make this video as efficient as possible. So my first best home office styling tip, okay, is to use what you have in terms of space. I just spoke a moment ago about the fact that not everyone is going to have a dedicated office space the way that I do. Now, obviously, I do run my own business from home, so having a home office is really important to me. And this office is very large. It's actually 10 feet by 20 feet. So it's like 200 square feet. So this is a very big home office, in my opinion. And I think most people probably don't have a home office this big. I'm sure there certainly are people who have an office this big or larger. But um, I realize that for many of you, your home office may be a corner nook in a dining room or you know a wall in your bedroom where you're going to have a desk. So. What I want you guys to focus on is not the amount of space you have, but really using what you've got, right? So identifying what space it is that you have is very important, saying this is the place that's going to be my home office. And really thinking about the space in not just in terms of like, oh, you know, what can fit in there, like what size desk and things like that, but think about how you can optimize the entire area so that you're giving yourself that home office feel, even if it is just a corner of a room or a wall. And so one of the great things that I think is important when it comes to utilizing space and using the space you have is not just to think about your space in, in, in terms of the square footage, but also in terms of vertical space, because there are very many examples of home offices that are just a desk against the wall, but they've been styled in such a way that they're really making use of vertical space as well. So if you're someone who does not have an entire room to dedicate to your home office, definitely think about how you can be setting up your space functionally in a vertical way as well. Because if you only have, you know, the width of a desk, but you've got all the way to the ceiling, right? In most, you know, homes, the ceiling is 
seven, eight feet, right? Nine feet maybe or more. You've got a lot of vertical space that you can work with to really make that home office optimized for you know your usage and inspirational and full of storage and really have everything that you absolutely need at your fingertips. And that's so important when it comes to home office. So first and foremost, make sure you identify that space that's going to be your home office and make sure you are using what you've got in every sense of the word. Okay, my second tip for styling your home office is when it comes to creating like a nice uniform visual decor feel, I think it's really important that you choose a color scheme and stick to it. Now, I also want to preface that by saying that although I think a color scheme is wonderful and great to stick with, I also want you guys to watch out for being too matchy matchy because I think that there is a difference between having a unified color scheme and everything matching exactly. So in my home office, as you can see, I have a color scheme that's mostly black and white and my favorite color, turquoise, right? So I have a lot of black and white stripes. I've got a lot of black and white accents. My furniture is all white, but it's important to note that although all of my furniture is white, it is not all matchy matchy, right? So I've got some high gloss pieces with some matte pieces. I've got modern mixed with more traditional or classic pieces. So it's not that everything is like a matching set that I went to a store and bought like an entire set. Literally, I put together this office piecemeal and I just stuck to a color scheme and an overall aesthetic. So I guess I do have like, I say this is like a modern traditional um, because I do enjoy the juxtaposition of very like high gloss modern furniture with very classic looking furniture that is been updated, right? So a good example of this would be the hutch that's in my office that is now painted white and it has silver hardware and it has that mirrored effect on the glass. I actually refinished that hutch and it was um, a like a dark brown black before with a very weird cream colored frosting on the glass. And so when I refinished it, I refinished it so that it was again, in that color scheme of the white and the silver that matches my office, but it's not you know, exactly matchy-matchy to all the rest of my furniture. So definitely when it comes to choosing your color scheme, choose just a few colors um, that fit with your personal brand, right? Even if you're not a business, you definitely have a personal brand. So stick within that, stick within a range of woods if you're someone who does enjoy wood. Wood is not necessarily a material that I work with. You guys will see in my office, there's a lot of marble and a lot of like silver metallic, but wood isn't something I personally use, but if you're someone who likes the look of wood, stick to one type of wood or like a very close color scheme with wood so that you don't have pieces that feel mix, ma mix and match. You know what I mean? Again, we don't want matchy matchy, but we don't want things that are so different that they look out of place, right? We want a visual cohesive style for your home office. And that kind of gives you like a wonderful peace of mind, I think, as you're working. So keep that in mind, stick to a color scheme, but don't be too matchy matchy. Okay, home office styling tip number three is to make use of storage. Okay, so I think that in your home office, no matter how big or small it is, storage is probably one of the most primary concerns, right? Because not everything that you use in your home office is gonna be sitting out in your desk. I would assume that you're gonna have things like books, like paperwork, um, files, and things like that, maybe other sort of equipment, right? Like office equipment that you might use regularly or not use regularly having the right amount of storage and the right type of storage is so important. And so for me, as you're looking around my home office, you see that I do have a number of storage solutions. My desk has some storage. I have that beautiful credenza that has a lot of storage. I've got a bookcase. I've got the hutch. And even that turquoise a bench seat by the window has storage inside of it as well. So I really am making use of storage as much as I possibly can because that is gonna help you to keep your space looking nice and clean and crisp and not completely disorganized, right? So I know some people work really well in a messy space. I'm definitely someone who works in like an organized chaos. My office is not on a regular basis as cleanly as it looks in this video. Obviously, I cleaned it up for you guys, but I think that when you have enough storage, you have places to hide things, right? You have, you know, doors and drawers to put things in, which is why we're not opening the doors and drawers in this video because 
everything is a mess inside, <laughs> right? Because not perfect 100% of the time and not completely organized like to a perfect degree, but everything at least looks put away and there is a place for everything and everything is in its place, which I think is very important and why storage should be a big priority for you. Tip number four is when it comes to decorating your space, I think it's wonderful if you actually decorate with items that you use. So I realize that sometimes when people are like decorating your office or your home, you'll go out and maybe buy like tchotchkes and little things, you know, vases and statues and, you know, maybe different like little pieces of art knickknacks to put out everywhere and that can look very beautiful and definitely has a very nice cohesive look if you're someone who is really good at picking out little knickknacks to decorate with but for me I'm a little bit more of a utilitarian although I do have a few pieces in my office that are purely like artistic purely inspirational like just knickknacks that I like to have out most of the things that I decorate with really are items that I use. So um, things like that marble tissue box, right? It's a tissue box that is also decoration in a way because it fits my overall scheme. And I do have some flowers and I do use, you know, those Chanel boxes and shoes you guys have seen. And I put those all over my room as well. And I like to keep very pretty boxes as you might be able to see in my bookcase. I love little boxes and um, things like that that are just, to me, they're things that I actually use that I think are beautiful because I think that if you go out and buy a lot of these like tchotchkes that don't really have a purpose, sometimes I think you're wasting money. You know what I mean? I feel like you can find things around your home, things that you use already, things that are home office related that... Um, can also double as decoration. So I think when it comes to decorating the space, try to focus on things that you can actually use because then they do double duty. They look good and then they're useful. And then my fifth and final tip for decorating your home office is to keep inspiration everywhere. So for me, I really love seeing quotes and artwork and things like that. So I have, you know, I have a little bit of artwork in my room right now. You guys may know that before I moved, I had like an entire gallery wall and I've been hemming and hauling about putting that up again. It just seems like so much work. It's one of the reasons this video took so long for me to put out because I kept waiting to put that up, but um, I never did. I wasn't really inspired by that artwork anymore. So, you know, I do have other things in my office, like quotes that you saw in the bookcase, a little bit of artwork. Like I said, my um, shoes, my Chanel boxes, just pretty things that I have all around that kind of keep me inspired and make me want to work. So whatever it is that will inspire you to work, if it's beautiful artwork, if it's quotes, if it's a mug, right, that has like a really cute little design on it, like this one that I have up on my desk today, you know, whatever it is that will inspire you, definitely surround yourself in your home office with that inspiration because it is hard day in and day out to get to work sometimes. Being productive is um, a muscle that you have to practice and use and work. So if you have inspiration on a day-to-day -day basis that helps you wake up in the morning and get to work in your home office, absolutely, I think that that's probably the most invaluable thing you can have in your entire office. So that is my fifth and final tip for styling your home office. I sincerely hope you guys have enjoyed this peek into my office. Of course, make sure you check the description box. I'm gonna leave links to everything I can possibly find that is available still in my home office. And I'll link you down to some other blog posts and things and videos that I've done in the past about my home office because you might find some more details in previous videos that you'll like as well. Of course, I wanna remind you guys as well that if you're not already following me over on Instagram, Instagram, definitely follow me at Miss Trenchcoat. I've got a lot of inspiration going on over there. I know that I have not always been the best Instagrammer, but I am getting more and more into using Instagram again, especially right now as I'm filming this. We're in the middle of my fall for productivity Instagram challenge. So we've got a lot of great home office inspiration over there and productivity inspiration over there and planner inspiration. So definitely follow me at Miss Trenchcoat if you're not already. Please give this video a like, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and leave me a comment down below with maybe some of your best home office styling tips, or feel free to you know let me know what you liked in my office, what you didn't like, anything like that. I would love your feedback to see what you guys are thinking about my home office and how it might inspire you as well. And of course, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me, and until next time, bye bye